Good day, ladies and gents. Yesterday there was a streamer meetup with BSG. However, I missed it because I was going out with my cousin and I, I couldn't make it. However, I still got the news for you. Hayes posted a couple of points on his Twitter regarding what he learned and he was able to share from the streamer meetup. And I'm gonna go through those points and I'm gonna go deeper and I'm gonna talk in more detail about that. So first of all, BSG are working on a shimmer challenge with some cool prizes and they hope to share some information soon. So what is the shimmer challenge? Anybody will be able to get their, well, their item, whatever item they want in the game, of course within certain limits. And there will be a challenge which people will have to, uh, to do, people have to compete for it, and whoever wins the challenge will have an opportunity to get their shimmer item. So I assume anybody who streams on Twitch or YouTube, um, I'm, not, I'm not fully sure about the rules, will be able to get this item. And uh, as far as I understood, this challenge will be kind of like a, a lot of different tasks which people will have to do within a certain time limit. And um, I'm not sure about the time limit. I think, I think it might be like a week, maybe even two weeks. I guess we'll have to see. So that's the first thing. Second thing is, in-game events will start soon. Chronicles of Rigi will also air soon as well. And Chronicles of Rigi are the story about our scab friend that went, um, that went to find his dad. However, he hasn't succeeded. And he was taken to Arena in the car. At the end of the season, he, he woke up in the car and he was told that he'll have to fight for his life. So Chronicles of Rishi coming back, I guess we should um, expect more in-game events, um, such as bosses on all maps, um, crazy scavs, um, I don't know, um, maybe, maybe Zriachi will become friendly and will disable all the landmines on the bridge so all of us can go and uh, enjoy the lighthouse uh, on the lighthouse map. And yeah, if you wanna if you wanna stay updated, make sure you sub to my channel because whenever the new events come out, I'll be the first one to cover them. So subscribe, enable notifications, and do not miss them. Uh, yep. So that's about Chronicles of Rigi. Then we also have um, BG's plan to get um, to get more devs involved into speaking about the game, so you can expect some sort of dev cost soon. I'm not sure if they plan to do it live or they plan to make a YouTube video because in the past, I think around like five years ago. They were making those YouTube videos where they would get a couple of devs and the devs would talk about um, different aspects of the game, including Nikita. They would show how they model things, they would talk about the mechanics, uh, what they are implemented in, in the game now, which kind of problems they have and uh, how they solve them. And to be honest, those videos are really cool and like I really enjoyed watching them and learning about, um, about the engine as well as uh, the way BG develops the game. And uh, yeah, I, I'd, love, I'd love to see something like this, if I'm honest. Um, so yeah, that's a good thing. This is, this is something we should be expecting. Another point is that voting is a work in progress. And uh, voting in the game is uh, whenever you can run and uh, jump over obstacles, right? Your PMC will use his arms, his legs, his elbows to help to get over an object. Uh, right now in the game we have just jumping and nothing else. So this is planned and I assume it should be it should be coming sometime soon TM. There will be more news about the arena soon. Nikita on Reddit mentioned that this month or the next month there should be more news about the arena. I assume we're gonna see more gameplay and uh, if we're super lucky, maybe BSG is gonna up a uh, is gonna up is gonna open up a closed access to arena as a uh, closed closed beta testing. Um, I guess we'll have to leave and see. Another couple of points that I would love to mention that First of all, BSG do plan on um, moving to the next Unity version from the current one. They also plan on uh, reworking some uh, shadows, maybe some shadows settings to make it look better in the game. Because right now there is no there is no setting for shadows. You can't select at which distance shadows render or something like this. Because that setting used to be in the game, but then BSG took it out. Another piece of news from yesterday comes from One Pack. And uh, one of his also said that one of the largest cheat developers um, who distributes retails cheats to resellers in China uh, might have shut down by police. From what I know, basically their servers got seized and their cheat went down, so people can't buy the cheat, they can't log in into the cheat, which doesn't allow them to, to use the cheats in the game. And uh, we're not sure for how long like that's gonna slow them down, 
However, right now the cheat is unavailable, and I got I got the same information from uh, from one of my Chinese sources. So I guess this weekend is uh, the best time to play laps. And uh, there we go. Yeah, those are more or less all the news for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.